If you're a woman over 60 and you've been taking a multivitamin every morning, believing you're covering all your nutritional bases, I need to tell you something that might surprise you. Not all vitamins are beneficial at this stage of life, and some supplements you're taking could actually be doing more harm than good. Have you ever wondered why you're taking so many pills but still feel tired, experience brain fog, or struggle with bone health despite your best efforts? Or perhaps you've been overwhelmed by conflicting advice about which vitamins you actually need. If so, you are far from alone. This is one of the most confusing areas of health for older women. Surrounded by aggressive marketing, outdated recommendations, and a multi-billion dollar supplement industry that doesn't always have your best interests at heart. As a physician who specializes in women's health across all life stages, I've seen how the right vitamin strategy can transform energy levels, cognitive function, and overall vitality for my patients over 60. After reviewing decades of research on aging, nutrient absorption, and supplement safety, the evidence is clear. Certain vitamins are absolutely essential for protecting your bones, preserving your brain, supporting your immune system, and maintaining independence. But other supplements, despite their popularity, provide little benefit and, in some cases, can increase health risks. That's why today we're going to cut through the confusion and have an honest, science-based conversation about vitamins for women over 60. I'm going to walk you through the vitamins and supplements you should avoid or use with extreme caution, explaining exactly why they're problematic. Then I'll share the essential vitamins you absolutely need at this stage of life to support healthy aging and prevent deficiency-related complications. Let's start with the supplements that are often unnecessary or potentially harmful for older women. First, iron supplements unless specifically prescribed by your doctor. This is critically important. After menopause, women no longer lose iron through monthly periods, and most older women actually have adequate or even elevated iron stores. Taking iron supplements unnecessarily can lead to iron overload, a condition where excess iron accumulates in your organs, particularly your liver, heart, and pancreas. This oxidative stress from excess iron has been linked to increased risk of heart disease, diabetes, and even certain cancers. Iron overload also promotes inflammation throughout your body, accelerating aging and contributing to cognitive decline. Many multivitamins marketed to seniors contain iron, which is completely unnecessary for most postmenopausal women. Before taking any iron supplement, you must have your ferritin and iron levels tested through blood work. Only supplement iron if your doctor confirms you have iron deficiency anemia, which is relatively rare in older women, unless you have a bleeding disorder or absorption issue. Second, high-dose vitamin E supplements above 400 IU daily. While vitamin E is an important antioxidant, large supplemental doses have been shown in multiple studies to increase mortality risk and may raise the risk of hemorrhagic stroke in older adults. Your blood vessels become more fragile with age, and high-dose vitamin E acts as a blood thinner, potentially causing dangerous bleeding. Additionally, synthetic vitamin E supplements don't provide the same benefits as the natural vitamin E you get from foods like nuts, seeds, and leafy greens. If you want vitamin E, get it from your diet rather than megadose supplements. Third, beta-carotene supplements, especially if you've ever smoked. Beta-carotene is a precursor to vitamin A, and while it's beneficial when consumed through colorful vegetables like carrots and sweet potatoes, supplemental beta-carotene has been linked to increased lung cancer risk in current and former smokers. Multiple large studies have shown this alarming connection. Even if you've never smoked, high-dose beta-carotene supplements can interfere with the absorption of other important carotenoids like lutein and lycopene. Your body is designed to convert beta-carotene from food into vitamin A as needed, but synthetic supplements bypass this natural regulation. Get your beta-carotene from orange and dark green vegetables instead of pills. And fourth, megadose B vitamin complexes with extremely high amounts, far exceeding daily requirements. While B vitamins are essential, and I'll recommend specific ones shortly, some B complex supplements contain absurdly high doses, sometimes 5,000% or even 10,000% of the recommended daily intake. These mega doses don't provide additional benefits and can cause problems. 
Excessive B6, for example, can cause nerve damage, leading to numbness and tingling in your extremities. Very high doses of niacin, B3, can cause flushing, liver damage, and dangerous drops in blood pressure. Folic acid in extreme amounts may mask B12 deficiency, which is particularly dangerous for older adults. Choose B-complex supplements with reasonable doses, close to 100% of daily values, not these ridiculous megadoses that your body simply excretes while potentially causing harm. So those are four categories of supplements to avoid or use with extreme caution. Now let's discuss the essential vitamins that women over 60 absolutely need for optimal health. First, vitamin D3 absolutely the most critical supplement for women over 60. This is non-negotiable. Vitamin D deficiency is epidemic among older women, affecting up to 80% of seniors, and the consequences are severe. Vitamin D is essential for calcium absorption and bone health, making it your first line of defense against osteoporosis and fractures. But beyond bones, vitamin D supports immune function, reduces inflammation, protects against cognitive decline, and may even reduce cancer risk. As you age, your skin becomes less efficient at producing vitamin D from sunlight, and most women over 60 simply cannot get adequate amounts from food or sun exposure alone. You need to supplement. The optimal dose for most older women is 2,000 to 4,000 IUs daily of vitamin D3, the most bioavailable form. However, the only way to know your ideal dose is to have your blood levels tested. Your 25-hydroxy vitamin D level should be between 40 and 60 nanograms per milliliter for optimal health. Many doctors only test if you ask, so be proactive. Take vitamin D3 with a meal containing healthy fats for best absorption, and consider pairing it with vitamin K2, which helps direct calcium to your bones rather than your arteries. Second, vitamin B12 in the methylcobalamin form. Vitamin B12 deficiency is shockingly common in older women, affecting up to 20% of people over 60, often without obvious symptoms until serious damage occurs. As you age, your stomach produces less intrinsic factor and hydrochloric acid, both necessary for absorbing B12 from food. This means even if you eat B12-rich foods like meat and eggs, you may not be absorbing adequate amounts. B12 is essential for nerve function, red blood cell production, DNA synthesis, and brain health. Deficiency causes fatigue, weakness, memory problems, depression, balance issues, and eventually irreversible nerve damage. The challenge is that these symptoms develop slowly and are often mistaken for normal aging. The recommended dose is 500 to 1,000 micrograms daily of methylcobalamin or adenosylcobalamin, the active forms your body can use immediately. Avoid the cheap cyanocobalamin form found in most multivitamins as it requires conversion in your liver and is less effective for older adults. Third, magnesium, the forgotten mineral that most older women desperately need. Magnesium deficiency affects an estimated 50% of older adults, yet it's rarely discussed or tested. Magnesium is involved in over 300 biochemical reactions in your body, including bone formation, muscle and nerve function, blood sugar control, and blood pressure regulation. It works synergistically with vitamin D and calcium for bone health. Deficiency causes muscle cramps, restless legs, insomnia, irregular heartbeat, anxiety, and constipation, all common complaints in older women. The problem is that standard blood tests don't accurately reflect magnesium status because most magnesium is stored in bones and tissues, not blood. The best forms are magnesium glycinate or magnesium citrate, which are well-absorbed and gentle on digestion. Take 300 to 400 milligrams daily, preferably in the evening as it promotes relaxation and better sleep. And fourth, omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil or algae. While technically not a vitamin, omega-3 supplementation is essential for women over 60. These anti-inflammatory fats support brain health, cardiovascular function, joint health, and eye health. Choose a high-quality fish oil providing at least 1,000 mg of combined EPA and DHA daily, or algae-based omega-3 if you're a vegetarian. 
Now, here's some practical strategies for supplement success. First, take vitamin D3 and omega-3s with breakfast or lunch containing healthy fats for optimal absorption. Second, take magnesium in the evening to promote relaxation and better sleep. Third, have your vitamin D and B12 levels tested annually to ensure you're taking the right doses. And fourth, choose high-quality supplements from reputable brands with third-party testing to ensure purity and potency. So, as you can see, the right vitamin strategy can powerfully support your health, energy, and vitality after 60. I hope this guide helps you make informed supplement choices starting today. Which vitamins are you currently taking, and which will you add or eliminate? Share in the comments below. If you found this valuable, please like and subscribe for more evidence-based advice on healthy aging. Hit that notification bell. Stay healthy, stay strong, and I'll see you in the next one.